Larry the Lama Learns About Love Love is a Fruit of the Spirit Written by J. M. Ashmore And narrated by Will Hahn Larry the Lama went to a baby animal farm for his first new job. He was so excited. He was going to help the farmer to love and watch over all the baby animals when they played in the pasture. If a big bad animal came into the pasture, Larry's job was to scare the big bad animal away. Larry knew that the farmer loved the baby animals. He hoped that the farmer would love him too. Larry could run amazingly fast while making a creak, a crack sound. He was tall with a long neck and long legs. He was not afraid. He could see far away. If he saw a big bad animal, it might see and hear Larry coming and leave. But if the big bad animal didn't go away, then Larry could spit at it. All big bad animals should know that Llama spit is really gross. But if the big bad animal still didn't leave, Larry could kick with his long, strong legs. Then the big bad animal would have to get out of the way. One of the baby animals on the farm was Lily the Lamb. She was always wandering around looking for other baby animals to play with. She liked to run and jump, and could jump higher than all the other baby animals. One day there was a loud thunderstorm. All the animals had to go into the barn where it was safe and dry. Larry made sure that all the baby animals were in the barn. Then he took a nap. When Larry woke up, the thunderstorm was over, and all the baby animals were back outside in the pasture. He jumped up and left the barn to find them. Oh, there they are, he said. But what happened to the fence? Maybe there was a lot of wind in the thunderstorm. It looks like the wind blew the fence down, Larry thought. He looked closer. Part of the fence was flat on the ground. Larry kept walking over the broken down fence and out of the pasture. He turned toward a sound of water falling. Then he saw a waterfall. I think I will get a drink of that water, he said. Suddenly, he saw Lily right next to him. What are you doing here? he asked. I came to see what you're doing, she said. Well, you are too little to be outside the fence. Go back and play with the other baby animals. No, she said. Now, Larry knew his job was to watch over Lily and all the other baby animals. But he was so interested in what was outside the fence that he just kept walking, and Lily followed along. When he drank a little water from the waterfall, she tried to do it too, but the water got in her nose and made her snort and shake her little head. Larry just ignored her and kept walking away from the farm, and Lily followed along. Next, they came to a road. Cars and trucks were zooming past them. Larry wondered if they were like big bad animals. He didn't think he could run as fast as they were going. He didn't think he could spit at them or kick at them. They were going too fast. I am scared of the noises from the cars and trucks, said Lily. Well, then go back home, said Larry. No, said Lily. 
Larry knew he should go back to the farm with Lily, but he wanted to go down the hill away from the cars and trucks and see what was there. So he just kept walking, and Lily followed along. Suddenly he saw a grassy hay meadow. Larry thought, I am hungry for some hay. Lily thought, I am hungry for some grass. I want some grass, Lily said. I told you to go home, said Larry. I don't know where home is, said Lily. Larry looked around. Home is, is, is. Uh-oh, I don't know where home is either. We must be lost. Larry knew that he should have stayed at the farm to watch over all the baby animals. He felt so bad that he hadn't done what he should have done. I am so sorry I didn't take good care of you, he said to Lily. I was annoyed when you followed me, and I didn't do my job. Now we are lost, and it is all my fault. Well, it is not all your fault, said Lily. I should have gone back to the farm like you told me. Larry felt worried, but then he had an idea. Lily, he said, stand still and start bob-bawing as loud as you can. Then Larry started to creak a crack even more loudly than Lily was ba ba -ing. He hoped all the noise would help his farmer to find them. Larry was right, because soon they saw the farmer driving a big tractor pulling an empty hay wagon through the meadow to where they were. They waited while the tractor came closer and then stopped right in front of them. The farmer jumped off the tractor and gave them lots of hugs and kisses. I found a broken down fence, but I couldn't find either of you. I looked and looked for you, he said, but I heard you making loud noises, and that is how I found you. Then he hugged and kissed them again. He told them he loved them, and that he was so glad that they were safe. He told them how smart they were because they stayed in one place and made lots of noise so he could find them. He helped them to get onto the hay wagon, and then drove the tractor to bring them back to their farm. Larry was glad that the farmer came to find them when they were lost. He was glad the farmer said that they were smart. Most of all, he was glad the farmer still wanted him to work at his new job on the farm. The farmer does love me, he said. If you would like a reading copy of this book, or to find other fun stories by J.M. Ashmore, go to the website listed here. Thanks for reading along.